Today we're going to review the test long uh, digital inspection. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Indoscope. So I got this from Amazon. Uh, here's the actual listing of uh, Amazon. Uh, it's basically uh, the under the brand name of uh, Tess Long, T E S L O N G, and um, it is rated fairly well. Uh, it comes with a 16.4 uh, foot uh, probe or a five meter uh, length, and um, it is basically uh, you could use it for. Uh, uh, all kind of different usages like you typically use these devices for. Uh, it has two cameras with two LED lights on each side and um, um, it's very promising from the specs perspective and uh, it is uh, IP67 uh, 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 waterproof so for it is useful for plumbing and uh, it has tempered uh, glass on the top and the screen size is, is pretty good. Let's review it uh, and uh, take it from there. So it comes uh, in a nice hard box. Uh, it's pretty thick box. So you can carry it here and uh, Nice zipper. Okay. So this side, let's see, has uh, the cable. So Velcro and attached two of them. Okay, pretty, uh, pretty hard, uh, so when you twist it, it holds. So this is the camera, uh, the yellow ones obviously are LEDs, and also it has uh, a side camera, you see here, this is the LED, this is the camera. So it has two cameras, one on site, and it is uh, USB-C. USB-C. We got a bunch of uh, accessories here. Let's see what they are. Okay, so we got a US. Uh, B C here to USB A. Uh, it's probably a charging cable, and uh, okay, a couple of different attachments. This is a magnet, I'm assuming, and uh, this is a, a hook. Okay. So, so this is how they connect to the camera. You know, basically they get screwed in, so um, they are tight and sturdy, so that you could actually pull things through them. And when you're done, you unscrew, and then you screw the cap. Easy to lose the ring. Okay. And let's see, put those back here in this nice uh, plasticky container. And 
And this one looks like a, looks like some sort of a stand. Yeah, we'll see. And then there's the manual. Four languages. So just uh, to share the specs with you. So the screen is uh, 4.5 inch, uh, nice nice size. Screen resolution is 854 by 480. And um, it's basically the resolution is, uh, goes from 1920 by 1080 to 1280 by 720. Okay, so, um, and the camera depth of field is uh, 30 millimeter to 100 millimeter, and it is 1.0 megapixel HD. It's 5.5 uh, uh, millimeter. Okay, so let's look at the device itself. There we go. Nice, by the way, nice padded uh, case. Uh, the uh, camera button here is to uh, snap the pictures. Um, the light button here is to um, um, basically decide on um, which, uh, how much light you want on the camera side. So it has three levels, uh, dim, brighter, and brightest. Um, the mode button here it shifts between uh, camera stills videos and the images you took it takes you to the library through so three kind of sequences number one is camera two is video three is the image or video you've taken basically your album uh, the OK button is the selection button up or down that shifts different menu items and also it flips the camera when the camera is on, so it, sh it does the mirror effect of the camera. The wheel here is the settings, and the first setting is the quick call menus, and the second time you press it, it takes you to the longer setting menus, and obviously the power button right here. On the back, we have speaker and reset button, and then this here to put the, tr the, the leg for uh, the stand comes with a standing leg right here this uh, pen goes uh, here and then this sits like so on the top it has uh, the USB-C connector that slides in pretty steadily inside so it doesn't move this is a release button because it locks down so you have to press this to take it out on this section, it has the gated, rubberized gated uh, uh, charging port, USB-C, and then the micro SD card, uh, a 32 megabyte, a gigabyte SD card. And this one right here is a microphone for uh, video recording. It has a microphone, it, it, it records audio as well. Nothing on this side nothing on this side either okay so um the camera connection basically the way it works is that you put this right in here and then it slides in and you hear kind of click so then when you uh turn it uh when you turn it on and then it has also a side camera uh, right here it's hard to turn it's kind of stiff cable so the way you change the camera which camera is this button right here on the USB-C cable so here one more time sorry so this button right here on the USB-C, I've got my thumb here. So if you press that button, so that, let me turn the light on, here we go. So that shifts to the side camera. If you press it again, this shift to the front camera. So see side camera, 
front camera okay so this button right here on the USB-C is the one that shifts between left and uh, front camera okay so um, the camera here if I press it this is a uh, this is a stills See, this one snaps a picture. If I press this one more time, it takes to video. If I press this, it starts recording the video here. If I press it again, it stops. And then if I press it one more time, now it's gonna take me to my library. So this is the video I recorded. If I press again, this is the picture I've taken right there. So then if I press the wheel, it gives me the quick menu option, delete, protection, slideshow. If I press it again, it takes me to the longer menu. If I press it again, I could select delete, delete all, and then okay. Now I deleted all the pictures. And this is back to the camera. This is the menu settings so the resolution here okay date stamp on and then shutter sound on and then I pre press the wheel again auto power off five minutes languages date and time format the SD micro SD card Go back to default settings and the version of the software. Press it again, I get out of it. So you could see here, the image quality is very nice here. If I, here we go. I'm just, okay, I don't need the light because this, there's already daylight. So you could see how good the image quality is here. If I kind of take it to my, uh, show you. It's kind of close to the to my hand just to show you the details of the image or even the device itself you could see here very nice So uh, the overall impression is that uh, the device feels really good and the image quality is actually pretty nice. Uh, now I don't know how this device would fare against a more established brand like the Milwaukee or the DeWalt. Uh, quite frankly, I wouldn't know because I haven't used them yet. Um, there are all these different uh, options of buying the cable and pairing it with the phone as well. So there are numerous options out there. They're gonna cost you anywhere from like, you know, higher 20s to over like $600. Milwaukee has one that you could, it has an option to um, uh, rotate the camera remotely from the device itself so that you probe anywhere you go, like 270 degree rotation of the top of the camera, um, so, which is nice, but that one, the cost of the MSRP on that one, I believe it's somewhere close to, uh, you know, over $500, if I remember correctly. So this one for, you know, almost $100, uh, you know, 98 plus tax, uh, this seems to me as a reasonable, um, you know, option uh, compare as far as, you know, what the resolution of the screen, the size of the screen, the capability, the 32 SD card, uh, that you, micro SD card you get, all of these translates to a decent ROI as far as the capability and dollar you spend. So from that perspective, I thought this is a good buy. Uh, I will continue to obviously to use it and uh, if there's anything unusual about it, I will uh, make sure to create another video and, and publish it and let you guys know. So it is uh, 6.49.